G'day Capricorn, welcome to TJ Tarot in Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, eh? So this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. <clears throat> Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. All decks are pre shuffled and I'll list them below in the description box. All right, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Mm. Okay, one more, please. Ooh, interesting. Alright, let's get the clarifiers. As per usual, hope you're all having a good weekend or had a good weekend. Depends on where and when you're watching this. <laughs> okay, clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Come on, card number one, clarify please. Thank you. Card number two. Oh, it's very toasty warm here. And card number three. Okay. All right. Let's see what we've got. We have, ooh, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Huh. What's behind the mask, though? Pretending they don't care when they do, or pretending they do care when they don't. Now we've got justice and the Six of Swords. Hmm. So is it the deception of wanting to balance things out, but really they want to move on? Or do they want to balance things out and move to calmer waters with you? But it doesn't appear that way. Ooh, this is a tricky one. Hmm, so is it a deception? What's the deception? Well, do they actually want to balance things out and move to calmer waters? Or are they pretending they want to balance things out, but really they want to move on? Hmm, alright, well we've got to find out more here. Not really sure on this energy, which means it's, mm, I don't know, something's not right. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, well they know it's safe to open up to you. Four of Pentacles, yet they hold back. Eight of Cups. Hold back from showing any emotional fulfillment. Hold back and walk away. It's safe, but yet they hold back and walk away. Yeah, no. Nah. Then, no. Nah, nah. It's a deception. They want to balance this out. They really want to move on. As safe, you can make it as safe as you want for them, Capricorn. But they're not. Nah, they're moving on. And reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Is it because they want to reconcile with someone else? Or is it reconciling with you? But mm, the magician, the magic trick is what I'm hearing. 
Six of Wands, Success, and Six of Cups with the Past. Are you the past? This is what I don't understand. It's a love energy coming towards you. Coming towards you. So they're wanting to reconcile with you and bring back that manifest that success in the past. Leaving someone where they had a safe and stable and open-hearted relationship. Holding back from that to walk away. Deception is it. Getting a divorce and moving on, moving out. Deception. Well, maybe they're not getting a divorce and moving out. They feel safe where they are, are and holding on to that, even though there's no love there anymore. And they're tricking you that they want this to be successful like in the past. Oh, I don't like this energy, Capricorn. <sighs> Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. There's no doubt that they're made, that they're um, very attracted to you. Want to explore these romantic feelings with you, and are calling you in as a soulmate. But they've got a decision to make here very soon. Clearly decide what you want. Well, I think they're deciding that they want the attraction and the romance. And think, yeah, trying to call someone in as a soulmate. I don't know if they're... See, it, it could be somebody else. They're deceiving somebody else that they're going to balance things out when they're really they're going to move on. Someone that they have a safe and stable connection with. Holding back from them because they're not emotionally fulfilled anymore. The reconciliation with that person is a trick because they really want to be successful and get the attentions of you, the person in the past. What's at the bottom of this deck? Three of Pentacles. Uh, I don't like that. Three. Ace of Wands. Uh, High Priestess. And the Four of Cups. See, I'm hearing they want it all to work out together. Like, I'm hearing third party with this. I know it's not the three of cups, but I'm hearing third party with this. They want it to work out between the three. Like, I'm feeling there's three parties here. They want that passionate action with both of you. That's them, and this is, that. This is you and the other person. And they're going to keep you a secret from each other. But it's all got to be hush-hush, I just heard. As far as you're concerned. Four of Cups. And they're not going to offer you anything. It's not going to be an offer of love here. It's about passion. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, any offers made to you, well, they're going to have to be kept secret anyway. Oh. Mm. Yeah, um, I don't think they're, if they're telling you they're leaving somebody else, they're not. I don't know which one you are, though. Because if they're trying to balance out something with you, they're not, really. It's a deception, because they really want to move, 
they just want things to be calmer, waters between you two, but they're holding back from expressing love because they're not emotionally fulfilled here. They're wanting to manifest someone, something with someone from the past, whether that's you or that's someone else, I don't know. Look, we've got romance. They're all about the romance. All about the passion, actually. Give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Two more, please. One more. Thank you. Okay. Let's get the clarifiers for these while you're waiting for the clarifiers. If you'd be so kind, hit that like and subscribe and the bell. It's free. <laughs> that would be awesome. Thank you. Someone's going to end up disappointed. Five of Cups. Clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Clarify card number two. Whoa. Whoa, Fruit Loops. Alright, so it's that one, and that one. Oh god, I've got to remember now. This one. This one. This one. The one on the floor. Oh, and then that one. Alright. Woo, that's crazy. Is there anything in there? No, okay. And clarify card number three. Thank you for piling them on top of each other. <laughs> it's much better. Thank you. Okay, so we have forgiveness. Ooh, forgiveness for you or forgiveness for the other person. I'm really confused here. And the emperor. Getting forgiveness is a control strategy. Is what I'm hearing. If they can get forgiveness, they can control the situation. It's a control strategy. I'm hearing keep control of the assets, like the emperor and the empress. The empress grows all these things, and the emperor helps to run the process. It's a mind. It's a mind game. Because uh, it just reminded me, oh, the Emperor is all four kings in one. And all the kings come from the mind. They're all air energy. All the kings are air energy. And so it's mind. Knowledge, that's why he holds the scrolls of knowledge. But I'm hearing control the situation. If I can get forgiveness, I can control the situation. Hmm. Oh, from both of you. Well, well, I hope you can forgive me, but we've got to keep this quiet with that one. Whichever that one is, you or the other person. And the one that they... Uh, if they find out about this, the other one finds out, they're hoping they can for get forgiveness. Let go. Mm. See, they know they've got to let go of something here. Six of Cups, they, yeah, they let go of the past. Queen of Swords. Things went cold. The Chariot, want to move on from that. The Hangman, I'm just hanging around. The star card, the ten of swords, healing the painful ending, and the sun to get their happiness back. 
And I had to let go of the past because this, all right. So if they were seeing somebody else, if this is someone that you are with and they were seeing someone from their past, they're looking to go back to them again. If they were cheating on you with someone from their past or, yeah, they're looking to do it again. And if you're the person from the past, they're still attached to somebody and they're coming back to you again. You don't know. Yeah, neither of, either way you don't know. Because they had to let go of the past person, whether that's you or someone else, because the other person was getting cold and defensive and putting their sword up. Ready to cut them loose. So they had to take our action and charge forward triumphantly and leave somebody hanging. Someone that they wish they could be with. They had to have a painful ending with. Just to keep everybody happy. To keep somebody happy. Wow. 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 And I'd say it's the one that they're, sorry, the one that they're living with. Uh, wait, yeah. I think they're going to wait until things calm down and then come back to that past person again. Page of Cups, the Apology. And the Six of Wands, which is up here. Apologise and get your attention back again. Apologise and try and succeed at getting that, having both. I tell you, they want both. I don't know which one you are, but... And I think in the past... See, this is the thing. I think in the past, them being with the past person, both you and both of you knew that they were with one and going back to another in the past, but they're looking to do it again, which neither of you are aware of. If you're the one they're coming back to, the last time they came to you, they were with that person. But you don't know that they're still with them or not. When they come back this time, they don't tell you. And if you're the one they're with and they tried to hook up with their past person, yeah, they've let them go, but you don't know that they're going, they're, or they're looking to go back to them again. Basically what I'm saying is you knew, you, this reading is true if you knew they did this in the past. Either side, whichever side you're on, you knew about it happening in the past. Yeah, well they're going to do it again. They're going to try and do it again. They're just waiting for the right time to do it again. They let the past person go, whether that was you or the, yeah, or if you're the commit one they're committed to. They let their other person go. To keep you happy. But they're looking to get back with that person again. Bring them back onto being the side dish. Call them that. <laughs> oh, I just don't know which one you are. Okay, bottom of the deck. Big happy changes. Yeah, this is what they're looking for. Big happy changes. Compromise, yep, see, the compromise, which will make them happy, balance things out for them, they get to keep the one they've got the stability with, I'm presuming, the home, the legal contract with, could be marriage or something, um, happy and bring back the ex-passionate one, you know, the one they want to have on the side, yeah, if I can keep them both happy, that'll be good for me, reconsider, mm, where's that sword, listen to your intuition, okay, 
Yeah, because big happy changes means that they're going to have to put themselves in comp compromising situations. <sighs> they're thinking about whether they should do this or not, trying to listen to their intuition. Their intuition's probably screaming at them, you don't do this, mate. <sighs> They've already had to, yeah... St uh, yeah, they've had to control themselves to get forgiveness and let go of that other energy. Ooh, I don't like this. Temperance, Queen of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Three of Pentacles. See, I told ya. They are patiently waiting for the commitment side of things to transform. Well, for the for the com the one that they're married to or committed to or got the stability with whatever it is, yeah, patiently waiting for that to be stabilized, then they can transform. Yes, no, it's a death card, but they want to transform this into a th back into a third party situation again, because there's that three of pentacles again. Yep, the love and the passion. The love of the passion. <sighs> See, it's the one that they love, which is this one they're committed to, or the one that loves them. And then the one they're passionate about. The one that turns them on. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, so if you've been part of a third party situation with this person before, they want to do it again. Mm. Yeah, but without you two knowing about it. Hmm. All right, give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Capricorn, please. Okay, we have, I'm afraid it will never work out, okay, it was hard for me to let you go, alright, you're the past person they want to come back to, you're the past person, and I can't do this anymore, yeah, because you're the one they had to let go of. Saying it's not going to work out. It's really hard for me to let you go. But I've got to let you go. Because I can't do this anymore. I think you're the third party. Oh, Yeah. They're lying to their partner. To, that they're married to. To move things to calmer waters. And it's... They're in a very safe and loving environment, but they're holding back from that because it's not what they really, it's not their, you know, it's not emotionally fulfilling for them. They would rather come back to you and manifest, well, manifest your attention like they had in the past. But they're not going to commit to you either. They're just wanting attention from you. Attention, give it to me, cause I will make you see nobody else here. Yeah, brass in pocket, the pretenders. <laughs> but I'm hearing that, attention, give it to me. That's the bit I'm hearing. They want your attention. Because maybe they're not getting that at home. Uh, I should have told you how I felt. Please contact me. I'm going crazy without you. I don't want to love you. See, this is... This is what's going on with the other person. They don't want to love this other person. They, it dri they drive them absolutely crazy, but they, they, have, they want to keep in contact with that person. And they haven't told them how they feel. They should have. They know they should have told them they feel something for them. They, yeah, hoping that the 
well, the one they've got the property with or they've got the business with or whatever it is. They've got something that they're legally bound to them with. They're driving them crazy and they don't want to love them. But they're not going to leave them either. So they've had to leave you. Because, well, they're never going to leave that other person anyway. Because whatever financial situation it is or legal situation it is, they're not leaving it. But they want you on the side. But if it upsets the other person... then they'll let you go rather than lose the legal situation. See, we've got treasure chest here, which is telling me that, like, from what I'm talking about, it's money. Something to do with money. All right, let's get a message for you, Capricorn, from the universe. It could be about this reading. It could be just about something general in your own life, just specific to you. All right. As many cards as need be. What does the universe want to tell Capricorn? What's the message for Capricorn? Okay. This one up here. Accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Wow. I'm hearing get out of the way. Yeah, um, yeah, you want a real relationship, so stop going back to this thing, because it's never going to be that, and you're getting, you're blocking, by, by engage, if you engage in this, you will block what heaven is, or the universe has for you, you're in, you're getting in the way. And you're letting this other person block something really good for you. You deserve better to be than to be in a third party situation, Dale. Definitely. Whichever one you are, but I think you're the one they've let go of. You probably didn't even know that they were still with that other person. Ah. <sighs> Bottom of the deck. Dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See, see yourself succeeding. Yeah. Let go of this small, pathetic excuse for a connection. What? They occasionally have time for you when they're not with their other person? No. That's small. Let go of that. Dream big. Dream for the best. And see yourself succeeding. Yeah, because you deserve so much better than that. Oh, yeah. And look, if they don't want... If they don't like that person they're committed with, they ha they can leave them. They don't need to have you beforehand. If they're serious, they'll leave them do their healing, settle all that out, and then come to you as a completely single, independent, healthy adult person. If they can't do that, no. And then what? Are they deceiving somebody that they're with and seeing you on the sly? <laughs> what, when they get when not feeling emotionally fulfilled with you, you know? Are they going to do the same thing? You know, the saying goes, do it with you, they'll do it to you. Like, you know, they're cheating with you. Maybe you know, maybe you don't know. But, you know, they cheat with you, they'll cheat on you. <sighs> I'm hearing that, Rachel from Friends. <laughs> I heard it in another reading too. <laughs> Once a cheater, always a cheater. Yeah. Yeah, I just, nah, I don't like this energy. You've got something heaps better that the universe wants to bring you, and this is blocking it, so you need to kick it to the curb. When they let you go, or you let them go, yeah, because they're, wait, they're, they're waiting for the right opportunity to come back. Yeah, come back to you from the past and get get that attention from you again. 
Attention, give it to me. Yeah, I keep hearing that. Yeah. So, nope. There's something better for you, doll. Yeah. Don't settle for this. All right, Capricorn, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, leave a nice comment below. That'd be cool. And thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.